Ayo hey, guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you stick around. Watch a few of my videos and hey, maybe you'll subscribe today. In this video, we will be breaking down the fun loving master of the spin, Gyro Zeppeli, for part 7 Steel Ball Run. In this episode of the Idiot's Guide to JoJo All Star Battle R. Game start da. Enigma Kage. Do that day. Welcome to the Idiot's Guide, where we break down a character from JoJo Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R in the most basic, easiest form that even if you aren't super hardcore into fighting game genre, you can still hop online and win a few matches. This guide will break down the character's skill, the style, and 2-3 to three basic and 2-3 to three semi-advanced go-to combos. Let's look at Gyro's basics, followed by his skills and his combos. Gyro's light, medium, and heavy. His downward light, medium, and heavy. Aerial light, medium, and heavy. Part 7 characters are unique. The majority of the cast are jockeys competing in the Steel Ball Run race, which is a mad dash across America for the grand prize of $50 million. So in this game, Diego or Daigo, Johnny and Gyro all start in mounted mode. The riders can switch between user mode and mounted mode the same way a stand user can. Gyro's beautiful horse known as Valkyrie will be assisting us in this video. Gyro's skills include spin spin, which is a projectile attack which a steel ball is spun and thrown. Depending on the button you input, you can change the trajectory of the attack. Light is anti-air, medium is forward, and heavy is a low attack. You only have two steel balls, so using them simultaneously is possible, but you have to wait until it comes back in order to do more damage with the skill. Run wild, run free. Gyro riles up Valkyrie to rampage into the opponent. It's a low attack that sends the opponent flying. Depending on the button input from low, medium, and heavy determines how far the opponent flies away. Using the low version of this move allows you to connect your HHA, while the others you have to flash cancel out of it. Yes, Valkyrie can trample your opponents on the floor as well. You need two steel balls in possession in order for this command to activate. Winds from Mexico which is a knockup attack. The hit and damage increase depending on the attack button you use as well. The greater the increase, the more vulnerable you become. Using the light version of this move allows you more flexibility into going straight into the HHA. Also, during this move, your opponent attacks will not be able to knock you back, so definitely use it. Before we speak on his fourth move, Scan, we have to briefly go over the holy corpse you will be seeing on the floor while playing as a part 7 character. In battles, three holy corpse pieces will be on the floor as time goes on. If your character picks up a corpse, they get what is known as a blessing. Based on how many blessings you have, determines the bonus you get. If you're down while holding a corpse part, you will drop one. For Gyro, his three stages of blessings are Stage 1, Scan. Stage 2 allows him to be fortified and he can still throw his steel ball skills even when being attacked by the opponent. Stage 3 is where you want to be as much as possible and that's the golden spin mode which charges the spin gauge preventing spin power from dropping and increase the performance of skills that use the steel balls. I'll get to that part shortly. When using scan, you toss a spinning steel ball that cannot be deflected. The ball flies as long as you continue to hold the special button. We release said button, it'll float in the air for a fixed period of time. Anyone touches it causes damage, and if you do the same input, you will toss another spinning ball that will ricochet. Before we get into the user mode, let's go over the spin charging technique. You can use the spin ability by pressing down, down, medium in your inputs, or 22M for those who understand the terminology. You want to try to be in golden spin mode as often as you can. Please don't be fooled. When a spin gauge is filled due to this move, it will immediately start depleting. Using this changes some of the skills, velocity, and turns moves that normally would be a single shot attack into a crumbling one. In user mode, Gyro dismounts from Valkyrie, giving you a whole new set of moves. This is their version of a stand, being dismounted. These are his basic attacks. Gyro's light, medium, and heavy. His downward light, his medium causes a knockdown, and his heavy becomes a launcher. His aerial attacks of light, medium, and heavy. Gyro has a unique skill that allows him to toughen up his skin with the help of Ball Breaker. It consumes a bit of your meter on activation, it prevents chip damage from skills, and guard breaks are ineffective, and unblockables besides throws become blockable. 
So you might want to utilize that as much as you can. Just like before, Gyro's spin spin skill does an anti-air attack with light, forward with medium, and low with heavy. Just like before, you can do two of them simultaneously by hitting another button at the initial hit. Ura is a projectile that rolls a steel ball along the ground. It then creates a tornado when the ball returns, which causes a knockup. If you hold the attack button, the ball will continue to roll until release. This form actually changes if you have the golden spin active as well. You can combo off it and maintain the damage when in golden spin mode. I'm gonna throw it away. Basically drops the spinning balls to the ground, shattering it, causing an AoE attack. It's a high attack, and it's often what you see during the easy beat combos. The number of hits increase depending on the attack button you press. Gyro's hard heat attack, one more shot. It's a projectile that sends the opponent flying with the finishing blow. Gyro's great heat attack, ball breaker. It's a projectile that sends the opponent flying a long way with the finishing blow. You will enter golden spin mode after activation. Gyro is a load of fun and is really rewarding when you actually get to know how to play with the character. However, here are some basic combos and semi-advanced combos you can pull off for now until you get better. And there you have it, Gyro is a zoner fighter that has a wicked mean horse that would trample you to the floor. As I said before, this is just to get you guys started until you really branch out and get better. In the comment section, veteran players, please give your insight on how you use Gyro and what are some other tips that you can add to this video and whatnot. I'm out of here guys, and as always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace guys.